This is quite difficult to do, um, but it's just one of those songs that there's just no way that I can kind of make it really any easier than it is without completely destroying the song and without just playing it with one finger. So what I would suggest you do is that you just take your time with this, you keep playing and forwarding the video. You can actually, if you use the little cog in the bottom right hand corner of this video, you can actually slow it down as well. So you've seen me play the whole thing and I'll try and take you through as much parts, as many of the parts as slow as I possibly can. Okay, so getting straight into it. The first part, kind of, uh, it should be quite easy. So that's pretty much it, you're just building up with C, E and G in, in that rhythm that, that you hear the trumpets just at the, before the main tune comes in. If you want to be a little bit clever you can put like an A flat in there as a bit of a clash there that you hear from the orchestra part. It's completely optional if you want to do that. I, it just adds to it I think. <laughs> Don't add, a, don't add the A flat when you play the C, add it after you introduce the E, so... So when you play the first... Okay, so again that's completely optional, do it in an octave if you want to, if not hit the lower A flat... depend on on how much room you have on on your piano or, or your keyboard okay so that's that part then it goes into the a little bit of that binary sunset tune that comes in there so I'm using chords in the left hand So I may, I may, I may teach you this just ever so slightly different to how I did in the beginning. Um, how I do it in the beginning because I've just made it up might come out slightly different each time. But you'll you'll get the rough idea. Don't get bogged down with I did two extra chords here, but I didn't when I played it through. It doesn't really matter too much. And slowing it down, I can't always remember what I have and haven't done. So don't worry about that. As long as you get the notes coming in at the right place, roughly, you know, it's your chance to make this your own. So. So I'm hitting an F minor chord, which is an F, a G, and a C. Okay, so going, going through the right hand. C, F, G, A flat, B flat, A flat, C, C, F, G, A flat, C, A flat, F, C, B flat. So you might want to write these notes down as you're going along and as I'm calling them out. I'll just go through the next right hand part before I show you, before I show you the left hand. C, C, F, G, A flat, F, C, A flat, F, top F and then bottom F, F, A flat, G, F, C, A flat, F, C, C, F, 
Okay, so that's the right hand if you want to write that down. And then the left hand, I'll do it with the right hand because I can't quite remember what I've done with the left hand chords. So F, A flat, C, F minor as we said before. Chord, which is an F, a B flat, and a D. Then we're moving to a C major chord, which is a uh, sorry, a G, a C, and an E. You don't have to do these full chords. You can sort of miss out one or two of the notes, or you can just press the. If you want to do that, if you don't want to play any more than, than one note, but you must get the F. The B flat in the and the C in, even if you don't want to get any other any of the, any of the notes around it of the chord. So carrying on. So from here, back to the F minor chord, F A flat C. And when we hit the C up here, we're going to change the F to an E flat, but keep everything the same. Up here, we're going to change to a D flat, an F, and an A flat. Back to the F minor chord. So when we hit those two C's with the right hand, we're going to do an F and a G, and then an E and a G. That's actually a C suspended chord. C sus4, otherwise known as in kind of shorthand. We're just not playing the C, but the C is being played with the right hand. So can you see that resolves? So this is a C sus4, and then it resolves to a C major chord, if you just want to get a bit technical and know the chords that you're playing. Then we go into the, that kind of bit again, and I'm doing this in octaves. You totally don't have to do this in octaves with both hands. If you can't manage it, just do it with one hand. I obviously can, and I'm trying to give everybody the maximum, I'm kind of, you know, trying to make this tutorial appeal for everybody, so. Okay, just before we go into the, so. I'll just do it in the right hand because whatever we do in the right hand we're going to do in the left hand which you do or don't have to do. flat but keep the C and then just move that finger from the E flat to an F sharp or G flat okay so I'll do that all again so there's two of those two of those Okay, and you're going to do that in the left hand as well if you want to. See, it does thicken it up if you play it in both hands as well. Okay, then we're going to go on to the... that bit so this is quite difficult because it's mostly on the black notes but we're starting with a D flat D flat E flat C A flat D flat E flat G flat normal F E flat A flat C F D flat B flat G flat D flat C B flat A flat F E flat D a flat F, A flat, G flat F, G flat F, E flat, A flat, 
D flat, G flat, E flat, D flat, D flat. And that's where it finishes. So again, you might want to slow that down and write out those notes as you, you hear me call them out and you see me playing them. And then it's easy for you to put the rhythm in because obviously I'm assuming that you're all familiar with this song. So it's easy to put the rhythm in once you've worked out those notes. The left hand, um, quite difficult here. Again, I really, really, really wanted to put this in. So if you're more of an accomplished pianist, this would be good for you. If you're not so much of an accomplished pianist, then I'll, I'll give you an alternative. But if you want to go for the full pelt, which is what I did, again, always do octaves where possible. You may not be able to see my little finger uh, going off shot here at the end of the camera, but whatever I'm doing at the top here, I'm, I'm just doing an octave. So I'm going to be doing D flat, C, B flat, A flat, and that's it. I'm just... Okay, so it's just... That's all I'm doing, but I'm just doing that down there, so... Then when you get to this D flat up here, we're just going to hit normal notes now. So F sharps, then move to E flat. Then move to F down to D flat, back up to F, F sharp, A flat, oops, A flat in the left, and that's pretty much it. Now if you don't want to do those those octaves going down, just hit D flats and just hit use one finger and hit one note. So it isn't going to sound as nice, you know, but we're, we're trying to appeal to as many people as we can, so... to do it all in octaves if possible. If you don't want to pulse then quite as nice always do as I always say in every video always do octaves where possible depending on if your piano allows depending if you can do it just because it sounds a lot nicer I know some of you can't always reach an octaves but but trust me I mean your hand will stretch I can comfortably do I can comfortably do an octave and one note I can't do any more than that without having to sort of stagger it but I can happily do an octave and one note remember I've spent about 30 years stretching my hand and getting my hand in all sorts of positions but it is possible to stretch your hand and it is something you should get used to don't try and make excuses my hand won't stretch make it stretch do some exercises <laughs> something like that to try and to try and get the hand to stretch and and each day uh, the more you do it the more that this will get better and the, the more you'll be able to stretch so you may only be, may, may only be able to stretch from say C to A to start with but then you know a few weeks down the line you'll be getting that up to B and then eventually getting that up to C and then eventually you'll be thanking me for it because your pieces will just sound so much better and you'll have opened up so many doors. So there we go. Um, I, I, this this is quite a difficult tutorial. I apologise about that, but it's pretty much just the nature of the song. I've tried to make it as easy as I can, so it appeals to maybe um, much uh, more beginner players and much more advanced players as well for anybody who's interested. Um, so yeah, don't forget to check out the playlist for my other tutorials like this. And I'll put a link underneath for all the other Star Wars tutorials I've done like this as well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.